25 years to life. That's the sentence handed down today to a man convicted of striking and killing a bicyclist and leading police on a wild chase, all while dr of dragging the victim's body. Kimberly Howard is live in studio tonight. And Kimberly, we all know that this was the outcome that the Murgis family had been waiting for. It was, Liz, but there was a chance they weren't going to get it after Pablo Cruz's defense attorney gave one last push for the judge to reconsider how the case was being handled. I took my children's father and the man I love very much. He is not ever coming back. Two years of grieving for the Murgis family all came to this. Pablo Cruz showing little emotion in court while several family members read victim impact statements. I came here today for closure for my children and I. Which came in the form of a 25 to life prison sentence. Cruz was convicted of killing bicyclist Paul Marges Jr. in an alcohol fueled hit and run, then leading police on a high speed multi county chase with Marges' body dangling from the ladder rack. Cruz's defense attorney put up one last fight. You heard his testimony, you heard his decision that everything he did in this case really was the wrong thing. Cruz was evaluated and deemed mentally fit to stand trial, but some questioned whether that was the right call. After he took the stand in his own defense and swore he wasn't there, despite overwhelming evidence against him and his own attorney urging him to keep quiet. Cruz was also put in a special housing unit while in prison after tearing up his mattress, pounding his chest and talking to someone who wasn't there. Attorney Michael Fight urged the judge to delay the sentencing so Cruz could be reevaluated. When they're talking about uh, a lack of remorse, uh, you, know, you have to kind of feel or know something to feel remorseful about it. The judge denied the last minute request. His behavior is rather irrelevant to, to us. He's definitely sane. Um, doesn't mean he's a you know, rocket scientist, but he's definitely sane in my opinion. And Meanwhile, this family never again whole. Putting him away does not bring Paul back. This isn't the last we'll see of Pablo Cruz. While the district attorney says he refused to sign paperwork that would have allowed him to be reevaluated, he did sign a notice to appeal that conviction and sentencing. Live in studio, Kimberly Howard, CBS 6 News.